In this video, you're going to learn how to set up the sidebar navigation builder for Oxygen and explore all the options. To get started, go to your dashboard, download the latest version. Once it's downloaded, drag it to your browser to open up the JSON content, copy everything, go to your main template, click on import and paste. Click on import again. The navigation template includes the skip to main, skip to footer links, sidebar header, your main which contains your main content. This is the inner content that is previewing this page that is showing up and it contains your footer. And also it has two code blocks for settings and the main navbar code. Next step, go to the settings, JS and CSS. Go to the CSS tab, scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to find post ID in two places. Replace the post ID here with the post ID of your main template. To find the post ID of your main template, click on F12 on your keyboard and you will find it right here amongst the classes in the body tag. Or you could click on class here, find post ID 6. What you're going to do is to replace this number 269 with 6. Collapse the sidebar, save this and preview on the front end. The sidebar appears and it looks good. By default, it comes with a collapsible feature. You can always turn that off if you want. But first of all, let's set up the sidebar. The sizing, the spacing here looks rather large and the icons look rather large. So we're going to go back in here. I'm going to expand these settings and I'm going all the way to the top. We're going to make adjustment to the link vertical and horizontal padding. These are the links. I'm going to change this to 0.8. Let's scroll down to icon size, which will be under font size. We want to change the nav icon size because the social icon size is going to inherit it. That reduces the icon to a size that I want. I also want to reduce the text size. So we're going to go to the link text size. I'm going to change it to one rem. That already looks good. I'm going to collapse this and it looks okay. I'm going to save this. Let's see the front end. This already looks better. What if you want to have an off canvas? In this case, we're going to expand the editor. We want to go to the JavaScript and I'm going to enable the off canvas. This gives us the off canvas mode. If you want to use this header on your desktop and use the off canvas on mobile only, what you need to do is to hide this hamburger. Set this to hide on desktop and show it on mobile. To build your desktop menu, place all your desktop design in the header inner wrap. Alternatively, you can create two divs within the header inner wrap, show one on desktop, show the other mobile what if you want to have a headroom feature like a sticky header that scrolls up when you scroll and scrolls out when you scroll down go to the j settings again and scroll a little bit downwards and enable headroom the headroom feature allows you to scroll up and hide your header then scroll again to reveal the header to set up an overlay header you can enable the overlay top bar. But now let's turn off the headroom feature. Right now we have an overlay header uh, that scrolls all the way up with what if you want to have your overlay header with the headroom feature? That is still possible. So you can turn back on this headroom feature. As you can see, the overlay header is still active. But when you scroll up and down, the background changes. Because right now, we don't need it to be transparent anymore. When you scroll all the way back up, it still remains an overlay header. You could customize the background color and the box shadow in the CSS settings. Let's go over there. Primary, CSS. Under background colors, overlay headroom BG, we're going to set it to another color. Say, orange, red. I will probably go all the way down and take a look at the sidebar shadow. Uh, we can change it. Make this uh, a little bit lighter and save. You can see the shadow. As you can see the shadow is lighter 
This works properly also in responsive mode. This sidebar menu supports a multi level drop down. So if you go to the drop down, you can see that you can have a drop down within a drop down. It supports unlimited levels, though it is advisable to limit it to just two or three max. We have a drop down here. I'm going to extend this drop down. Inside the drop down content, we have another list. To nest a drop down within a drop down, you have to place that drop down within the list as part of the li item. So this is a default that comes with it. So I'm going to delete this. So by default, this is what you get. I'm going to duplicate this drop down. So we have two of them. As you can see, we have two drops down here. This is level one, as is indicated here. And this is level one because they are first on the top level. But if I want to move this into the second level, into this one, I'm going to expand this. Then I'm going to expand the drop down content. I will expand the list. This drop down will go into the list because it is an LI. So it has to go into the list. I'm going to move this into the list. Let's say I want to have a third level. Get this. Then I will move this into this. So to move this into this, I'm going to expand this just like we did before. Expand the content, expand the list. Move this drop down into the list. If you look at here, you'll see that these are being represented by L1, L2, and L3. All these represent different drop down levels. We're going to save this and see what happens on the front. But before we do that, let's disable of canvas first so that we can just look at it on the side panel i'm going to go here and i'm going to disable the off canvas disabling the off canvas will automatically disable the headroom and the overlay top bar so you see the first drop down the second one and the third one the collapsible sidebar has a couple of features by default if you collapse it you can hover to expand and if you tap into it, it also expands on its own. Tap out. If you want to disable the hover to expand, you could always do that in the settings. Go all the way down here. The collapsible sidebar is enabled. You can enable it to collapse on page load. You can save state. To so save state means that the sidebar will remember its state. If it is expanded and you refresh, it will remember that it was expanded. If it collapse before you refresh, it will remember. That it was collapsed and stays collapsed. Over to expand, we can turn that off if you want. I'm gonna save it. These three settings are usually okay on its own. So this means that the width of the collapsible sidebar is automatic. Uh, but if you disable this collapse width by changing it to zero, then that means that you will have to manually adjust the width. Let's say we wanted the width to be say a little bit bigger than this. So let's disable the auto width and save the auto width is disabled therefore the width will be 100 pixels let's fresh you can see that the width is just a little bit bigger 100 pixels let's make it let's say 30 pixels in this case everything is done manually and not automatically let's say you were not satisfied with the centering of the icons the scrub value allows you to scrub in the position of the icons. I move it to 0.6 and save. It's going to go kind of like all the way here, as you can see. Move it to, let's say, 0.9, save. It's going to go all the way to the back. 0.8 seems to be sort of a perfect value. If you wanted to move a little bit, you make it, let's say, 0 0.75. I think that will make it a little bit more centralized. As you can see. So that is for the manual offset. But in any case, I always prefer to use the automatic offset. Those are the basics for setting up the sidebar navigation for Oxygen Builder. But before we go, one more thing. 
As I already mentioned earlier, the sidebar navigation comes as a full template, main template. It comes with the inner content, the footer, and the header. To design your footer, you will have to design it within this footer inner wrap. So if you have an existing footer, you could delete the inner wrap and place your footer within this. To recap, if you need a top bar like this, you're going to design it within the header inner wrap. All the content of your top bar for both mobile and desktop will be inside. You could create a folder for mobile and desktop and hide them on the different breakpoints accordingly. If you need any support, please feel free to reach out to me on the email provided in your dashboard in the support section and I'll be happy to help. Until next time, have a great day.